Thank you very much, Ewan. Now, with the myriad of inconsistencies in Oscar's, uh, Oscar Pistorius' testimony taking centre stage at the murder trial in the North Gauteng High Court, yesterday's court proceedings saw Pistorius breaking down several times after advocate Harry Nell attacked him on several points, including what he did with the gun immediately after shooting Riva Stienkamp. Take a listen. You see, Mr. Pistorius, it, it's getting more and My lady, more I understand. Improbable. I understand how it sounds. But if you look at the photos, when I placed the gun down on the floor in the, in the bathroom, the gun was still loaded and cocked. It was unsafe. If I look back now and I realize how much I was busy there on the floor, I could have, the gun, I could have kicked it and it could have shot me or Eva again. You see, so my mind wasn't thinking about this gun in my hand. Why are you getting emotional now? Is it about what happened or is it about the questions and your frustration in answering them? Because now we dealt with nothing but your version. Why are you getting emotional? It's an emotional, it's emotional no. memories for me. No, man. it's not. It, you're getting frustrated because your version is improbable and you, you're getting emotional. We haven't spoken about Riva. We haven't spoken about anything now. But you're getting emotional. Why? I was speaking about Riva, my lady. Mr. Pistorius, you're not using your emotional state as an escape, are you? No, my lady. Well, we're back again in our studio with psychologist <laughs> Megan De Beyer to try and unpack the psychological side of what may be going on in this trial. And Megan, I mean, just like you were saying there, uh, you're being emotional because you're trying to find an escape. So how does one find reliability in someone's testimony who's under such a high pressure situation as we described earlier on, that mm -hmm. this is intense. Uh, most human beings would break down emotionally at this point. Mm -hmm. So how do you trust the reliability of, mm -hmm. of, of testimony mm -hmm. like that? I think what we're seeing here is <clears throat> a highly complex situation yeah. and it's not straightforward and as a psychologist I'm speculating and theorizing and questioning mm -hmm. you know wh what's what's going on and what we're seeing here is there's a possibility that the shame that Oscar has felt his whole life and has managed to suppress so successfully so driven in his, his goal for, for fame and admiration. And if he does happen to be a narcissistic personality disorder, which the world press is beginning to say, um, it, it, it fits with a lot of the traits he has mm -hmm. and, and displays in his public life in here. And there is a thing called hypervigilant narcissistic disorder where the shame overwhelms the, the narcissistic character and then he blames the world for his shame. So it's still narcissistic in the sense that why are you all causing me yeah. this incredible pain and heartache? Mm -hmm. So he still, there's a sense of not being fully real about his, his, his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So that I'm putting that out as a possibility. I have never interviewed Oscar. Yes, as you said, mm -hmm. rightly so. Also, um, Advocate Carinell has on numerous occasions said to him, but Mr. Pistorius, stop arguing. Answer the question. So there's been a lot of uh, clashing where that's concerned, where it seems mm -hmm. that Oscar is very argumentative. Now, mm -hmm. in this kind of situation, analyzing the pressure that comes with it and the emotion that comes mm -hmm. with it, would you say that that is a characteristic of someone who's being truthful or deceptive? Mm. Very interesting question. Um, I've been uh, kind of, as everyone, in two minds, going between, you know, this guy's under tremendous pressure. What medication is he on? Mm -hmm. How is the medication affecting the situation? How is medication affecting uh, what, what happened when he, when he shot Reva? What was he possibly taking steroids mm -hmm. or testosterone that this aggression flared up. So we've got to question um, that in terms of, of what's going on with his emotional mm -hmm. state um, so that he might not completely be himself that, that we'd mm -hmm. uh, yes. expect to see. The pressure is unbelievable yeah. in this circumstance. Yeah, I mean, six when days. He's killed someone, killed someone that he says he loves. Mm -hmm. He should be emotional. In, 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 in such a thing. And um, I would have expected to see some rage come through. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing that. Um, we're seeing these, these overwhelming patterns of kind of uh, grief and tears. And it, it appears that, um, sure, can we trust that, that he's showing remorse? It is so difficult to say. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, one cannot say clearly, is this remorse yeah. or is this, fear for his life, 
this intense shame that mm -hmm. suddenly showed up that he yeah. has suppressed for so long. Yeah. So no, I, 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 I won't there. put you on yes, the spot and yes, try and make you answer yes. that question. But thank you so much. I mean, as I said, we could talk for eons about the, the, this topic. There's just so much of it to unpack. But nonetheless, thank you very much for your time and your mm. insights. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so there we are, your daily update on the Oscar Pistorius trial, which of course uh, court proceedings be, uh, are resuming at 9.30 this morning in Pretoria at the North Gauteng High Court. Also remember to follow www.sabcnews.com for more in-depth analysis of the trial.